Upside down recording. <laughs> yeah, does that up, work? Uh, <laughs> upside down, right side up recording. How are you gonna fix that though? Isn't that fabulous? Is it fabulous? Like fabulous. 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 But then, you know what? Then there's back to upside down recording. Yeah. Right side up recording. Ah, gotcha. It's still upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha! <laughs> gotcha, you silly little fella. <laughs> I like it. We're uh, ready here to take off. We got kayaks on the top. We got a full car loaded. Let's uh, check out what we got in here. What do we got there? We've got backpacks for hiking in the mountains, sleep bags, foamies, canoe paddle because we didn't get a kayak paddle in time, and lots of comfy stuff. And vegetables and dip. Already a healthy start. Except this all. Remember, my truck the whole truck. We didn't even graves. But I refurbished rides. My own refurbished longboard. Raise rad rides. It's the mountains, because me and Rob love the mountains. Okay, let's rock and roll, buddy. Let's do it. Yeah! Ah. Ah. <laughs> They call it Longview, the town of Longview. Why is this Longview Trail? Because it's the longest view of the mountains because the foothills sort of open up for the long view of the Canadian Mountain Rockies. It's awesome. This was supposedly destroyed. Well, remember, it's destroyed on the other side of Indian Graves. We couldn't get across. Yeah. But that was before the hump. Now we're on this side north of it, going down that way. Are we? And, and, and Indian Graves will be down there on that over on that side of the ridge line. This is the Catanassic River right here. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. That's what we've been following the whole time. But yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, this goes like right down to Livingstone. We're going to Livingstone, hopefully. Like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I picked up a big rock. It's a big rock. So, we're out here in this place called the wilderness. <laughs> you know, we don't know where we are exactly. We just know what road we're on. A little on. bit of garbage around here that people have left, and I'm going to show you that right now. It's too bad people kind of ruin nature like that. Right here is an old barbecue with the word boob in a swastika carved into it. It actually says barbecue on it too. Just in case you can't figure out what a barbecue is. And here's another old barbecue. We actually might take a piece of it and uh, reuse it. You're checking here. I know where we are. 
if we came down that road and up that hill, down to the bottom side of the map, we are sea map 18. Highwood Junction House is over there. It was closed. Highway 40 is closed because of migration, so the animals can uh, breed and travel freely without a highway uh, interfering and scaring them and giving them boundaries. So we cut south here on the famous Ridge Creek Road. So if you look, we actually came up here, Highwood Junction, and we cut down here. Forest Trunk Road's right here. And uh, we're right here, just past Highwood Junction Recreational Area. Oh, there's waterfalls. Middle Falls right behind that hill, probably. And the Upper Falls right here. Cool. Traveling yeah. through there is two sets of waterfalls we could hike to one of these times. We're going to follow down. I want to get us to Livingstone area down here. Livingstone Creek. There is a natural man-made water slide. But the floods from 2013, once again, have wrecked a lot of this road. And this is supposed to be open, but this could be closed because the road's being washed out. So, we're going to attempt to get down to Livingstone. Traveling, getting outdoors, getting on with life, and uh, living to love it all, you know. It's amazing to be out here and have uh, great friends with, like, Rob. Rob is such a, you can see him coming out of his shell, even taking his... Uh, <laughs> down this crazy hill I taught him to come up. Uh, he's uh, he's such an awesome friend to experience this trip with. Shoot, I gotta get over here. Oh! Why'd you hit those? You just hit two big rocks here. I gotta zoom in for you guys. But yeah, Rob's been a lot of fun. I hope he didn't just hurt his vehicle. Closed off again, road closed. So we can't make it to Livingstone. Well, we're, looks like we're not the only ones. Well, what does that sign say? It's normally closed till December 1st to April 30th due to hazardous winter conditions. Should be open, but the floods have killed it. So they're fixing it right now. So what are we gonna do? Camp out here? I got an axe, we can chop the lock. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's fine? We will be finding something totally new and better than living. No, living still is pretty cool too. But we'll be finding something new. Because it's basically time to set up camp anyways. And we're way out here in Cataract Creek. Do a Wisco Park right by the river. Take a look at that map. And that's a map. And that's a Pam. A Pam map backwards is a Pam. Me? Yeah. I'm a Pam? Pam. I'm a Pam map backwards. I'm a Pam? Yes. Map? If, if I'm a Pam and that's a map, what are you? I'm a Pam. Pam? Oh. You're an M. <laughs> Pam's, maps, and an M. Amps! Maps, maps, Cataract Creek.
get harmful things from picking up bird feathers? See, there's germs on it. I just want <laughs> on you first. Thanks. And then I'm fine. Go any feather. I love it. I did not pluck this from a bird. I love birds. The bird left this for me from the bear through the wolf. Look, now I'm going to put that on my mantle at home. And it's pretty. And, and the crow gave it to me through the bear with the wolf. The crow gave it to me. <laughs> the crow. <laughs> Trail she was talking about, like huge, like mountain separating trail. Mountain equipment co-op. Put this on Great Divided Trail. That's like the huge trail that takes like months to go through through the mountains here, and this is just a little part of it right here. That's a trail we could do, but this is just the Divided Trail is probably just going around around this ridge line and back up. And this is. It's temporary, so we're in Cataract Creek, Etherington, we're back there. We're going to go check out the campsites across the thing, and then probably just camp somewhere away from the road, but... Can we bring flashlights? Yep, okay. I brought them. Okay, for sure. So, we've set up camp here, and it's uh, 11 o'clock, and it's getting cold out. It's June, early June, and if you look right here, you can see it's... It's only uh, plus six right now. I got some of my own things to do. Ray's back in the tent, he's having a nap. Uh, he's tired, he's uh, burnt out probably from eating lots of junk food. This pop bottle, this vodka, club soda and cranberry juice. And I'm making myself a drink. I've been waiting the whole day to have one of these drinks and then I'm gonna wake up Ray later for some shots. Vodka. soda just exploded all over me and my pants are just soaked. <laughs> kind of a weak... Have a look at this, if you can see it. Hey buddy. Yeah. Yeah, huh? There, now I can see you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? For what? Shots. Shots? No, oh, I'm not feeling that right now. Don't make me drink by myself. Come up and have two shots with me, and then if you're if you're still not feeling it, it's all good. One shot? No, I'm good. Really? Yeah. So Raymond is chickening out. Uh, no, he's uh, he looks actually pretty rough. He's he said he's had a long day. He was he was tired before we even headed out here. And he couldn't even keep his eyes open. So I guess it's just you and me tonight because I don't want to go to sleep yet. I'm not tired. It's 11 11, 1 1 1 1, and I still have some of this left and a heck of a lot of this left. So I think it's, I think I'm going to get my drink on a little bit and feel good. <laughs> Is this just wrong doing shots on your own? <laughs> Hard gut shots. Hard gut shots. Hard gut shots. Bears is the rabbit. 
you have problems with poop sticking to your fur? The rabbit says, no, not really. So the bear picks up the rabbit and he wipes his butt with him. How about that? So I'm actually feeling it pretty good now. Um, I've had <laughs> so many drinks. Um, this is my red feather. I take this wherever I go, in my vehicle. I used to hang it on my map, and now I take it with me in my vehicle, wherever I go, because I don't even remember where I found this. And I don't mean to go on tangents here, but this song that you hear in the background, this is my song. I've been writing music since I was 14 years old, and it's everything from guitar to, to piano to playing around with drums and bass. I also fool around with the software uh, FL Studio represents. I love making music. Everything about music is everything about me. Cause I really have such a, a deep feeling for music, and I always have. I need some more light on me here. When I walk out there to go to my tent and have a, have a, to, to get, <laughs> hope this is entertaining because otherwise I'm filming for nothing. Club soda and cranberry. Actually cranberry, raspberry. It's very good. It's almost time for another shot. Uh, <laughs> I am doing a half shot because I am lame right now. I'm totally kind of dreading this, but it's, what else do I got? I, I ain't got my buddy. He's passed out and so I wish he was awake and I got to do this on my own because I am... My battery totally died before I could even... Uh, drink my shot.